We don't know whether these animals travel together when they leave the Neptunes, but we do know that while they're here, they seem to have an association with each other, possibly even a memory that they were here together last year and, and they recognise that individual. It's unknown how the sharks might recognise each other, but the fox team uses visual markers, like the tail. Each one is different. This is Chef, named because someone thought his tail marking looked like a chef in a hat with a tray. This looks like a question mark, so they named the shark Enigma. There's winter sharks, there's summer sharks, there's groups of sharks, there's big females, there's little ones, there's, there's Elvis the jumper, there's all sorts of ones, and they really, you feel like they're a family of sharks. To sort out Rodney's family of sharks, they pay attention to who arrives when throughout the year. Coming back under the boat here oh, in front of two. us. How many sharks? Two different sharks. No, no, it just turned really quick. They try to tag as many as they can. They look for any coloration or scars that can positively identify each of the sharks. That is our girl, that's cowgirl. Cowgirl, a 16-foot female with a mark on her dorsal fin that looks like the head and horns of a steer. Bentley, a 14-foot male. Good spotting. Fast. Whoa, he's really fast, that one. He's coming in now. Oh, we think it's blotchy. Yeah, we've uh, called her blotchy because she's got lots of speckles. She's got a black scar on her cheek here. And she's also got some more fresher scuffs that you can see the white on this side. 